Hey guys, Shanky here. Today I'm going to show you a vertical smelter design for smelting copper and iron ores. This design is 100% efficient, stackable and quite compact for a load balancing setup. To start building, you'll need a 2x3 platform like this. The load balancing will take place in the 2x1 red space. The yellow space or the 2x2 is for the smelters. To start things off, we need a single conveyor wall and a door on this side. The door and wall can be swapped, that's your preference. On the opposite side, place two single conveyor walls. Now right in between the two foundations, keep a splitter in contact with the wall like so. Don't forget to align the inlet with the conveyor wall. It is important to put the walls down first because you won't be able to place it at all if you put the splitters first. Now place a second splitter like so and connect both of them together. Connect the two splitters with the Mark 1 conveyor. I'll repeat that. Connect the two splitters with the Mark 1 conveyor. Then connect with the two single wall conveyors. Now connect this splitter with the single wall conveyor. The conveyor you use here will depend on the input load you have. Just use whatever conveyor that can take that load. For this example, I'm going to be assuming a load of 240 ores per minute, so I'm using a Mark 3. Each floor is going to be three walls high, so place the walls for that floor. On this side, I'm just going to keep the windowed walls. We won't need any more wall conveyors on that side. On the other side, repeat the two single wall conveyors again. And then place the foundations for the next floor. Now stack six splitters on top of the first one. And the sixth splitter's inlet has to be in line with the outlet of the splitter on the ground floor. Do the same with the next splitter. Keep the orientation the same this time. Remove the other splitters in between. Now, connect the two splitters with a Mark 1 conveyor and connect it with the wall conveyors, just like you did on the ground floor. Now, connect the first two splitters with a Mark 3 conveyor lift. The construction of the next two floors is the same, so just repeat that. Make sure to put the walls first or you won't be able to. And make sure you have a Mark 1 conveyor connecting the splitters on the same floor. So here's what's going on. The 240 ores per minute come into the splitter. Since the Mark 1 conveyor can only hold 60 ores per minute, only that much passes, which is then split into the required 30 min per minute of the smelters. The remainder of 180 ores per minute is transferred up to the next floor using a Mark 3 lift. And then on the second floor, the same happens again. The remainder this time is 120. Now we need a Mark 2 lift to raise it to the next floor. To determine the number of floors you'll need beforehand, divide the total rate of ores produced by 60. So in my case, that's 240, 240 divided by 60, which is 4. With that done, let's place the smelters. Place them as close to the wall conveyors as possible. And don't forget to connect them up. Once you're done putting up all the smelters, now would be a good time to do the wiring. Because once you put down the mergers, it's going to be a very difficult to walk around in there. So now would be a great time to do it. For the mergers, you can put them on whichever one you'd like. You can keep it on the left smelter or the right smelter. The choice is yours. Just make sure that the outlet is facing outside and not inside. So I'm going to place it on the left side and then now I'm just going to connect it up. And while I'm at it, I'm just going to put up the walls as well. And now place two single wall conveyors. From here, the type of conveyor you use doesn't matter as much as it did on the load balancing side. Whatever is the total rate of ingots you expect, use the conveyor type that can carry that and run with that all the way to the top.
Now I have a mod that allows me to fly around and build like that, but in case you don't have that, here's another alternative. What you can do is you can use a conveyor pole, a stackable conveyor pole, and then just build them straight up into the corner like this. And then climb on that, stay still, and then look, turn around, and you should be able to build without any issue. So if this is helpful to anybody out there, uh, I, great, I, I don't know. <laughs> hey, thanks for sticking around. Um, I'm going to be making more videos like this in the future, so subscribe. Um, and as for that last tip, the one with the ladders, um, there's a 3.5 update coming along and I think there's going to be ladders included in that update. So what I just said might just be obsolete, but in case you can't wait for the new update, then you can use this now. So yeah.